Hello and welcome. I hope that you are having a fantastic day. We're going to talk about cryptocurrency news, Bitcoin whale watching. I remember taking a vacation in Hawaii once and we went whale watching. It was actually a lot of fun. I enjoyed seeing the whales coming up out of the water. Now we didn't get to see a whole lot of whale jumping, but we did see them come to the surface with their backs. We saw them breach a couple of times, but you know, when you watch it on TV or something, you're, it's almost like, oh, you're going to see 30 breaches, you know, where the whales are breaching up through the water and jumping up uh, like you're going to see a whole bunch of those on a single trip. You may see a, a two or three or four or something, but it's not like you're going to see 30 or 40 or 50 during a whole day or half a day or something like that. So anyway, uh, it was definitely worth the trip. It definitely worth the trip. So let's get into this. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is my opinion. I'm not smarter than you. You are smarter than you realize. Do not trust what I say. Do your own research. So Bitcoin whale moves $310 million in cryptocurrency fortune and they paid 32 cents to do it. It's amazing what you can do with Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. So Kind of interesting uh, image here. We got a whale that's breaching up through the water and then a little Bitcoin coin going on. So cryptocurrency whale has just moved a, a 44,000 Bitcoins and that value is more than 310 million and they paid a minuscule 32 cents in Bitcoin transaction fees to move that amount of money. The hefty movement was detected by Twitter-based transaction monitor at Whale Alert this afternoon. Bitcoin's miners included it in block 605230. And so the block number here is useful because you can actually go to the Bitcoin blockchain and look up that transaction and validate yourself uh, the fees that they're talking about and this particular block contains 2,808 transactions. This shows the difficulty that that block was mined at and the difficulty has to do with uh, controlling the miners in terms of how many uh, blocks get mined per hour, per 10 minutes, etc. Um, what else? So there's actually a ton of information in here. And if we wanted to, we could actually go searching through all of the go searching through the ledger of information contained about this particular block uh, to discover it. I'm not going to dig into those details, but I will include the link to this article. And then all you have to do is go to this number and click on it, and it will take you to this page, of course. So according to Blockchain.com's Bitcoin Explorer, the fee paid was just 32 cents. This is incredibly low, especially when compared to large movements previously detected. It's even more oppressive when you consider that whoever sent the Bitcoin had no need to request permission from any bank, financial regulator, or world government in order to send hundreds of millions of dollars worth of digital cash. So uh, just kind of interesting so a little bit of trivia, a little bit of Bitcoin whale watching as money is being transferred back and forth around the cryptocurrency network via Bitcoin. So how can I be of service to you? Do you have questions you haven't found great answers to or do you have a question that you'd like my opinion on? Please leave comments below. In the meantime, I hope that you'll like, subscribe, and hodl. Have a fantastic day.